Spot clear. Chris Fix said it was a permanent fix, but you had to wax them occasionally. Scotty Kilmer said that it was just not true at all. But right now, I did my Chris Fix style uh, paint four years ago, and they were looking horrible. But a little wax seems like it'll clean up real nice. I don't know, Scotty. I think they just need to get waxed. And I only just got started on waxing them. So once you start getting them pretty clean, up to you if you want to do perfect or not. So once you get it pretty clean, spill all of your new finish onto the ground because you should be using a table to work. If you miss a spot with a little bit of like a dead bug or something, that wherever you uh, put new wax on that spot, it actually helps clean it and lift it, <clears throat> okay? Especially in these corners. I guess that's where bugs like to really bake in. But yeah, hopefully this will get me seen good at night again. It's getting kind of, it's getting kind of dim. So once you get it nice and pretty clean, <clears throat> the better clean, the less is going to be in your polish. Get some polish and kind of get everything hazed up. Should be out of direct sunlight. And then once it dries, get this car out of the way. I just hated that I spilled polish all over when the wind stirred up. Take a clean part of your rag and wipe it off. Yeah, wipe it off. And I actually think it looks incredible. I think it looks better on camera than in person though. But I'm not using a truly wax dry rag, so I'm kind of reapplying slightly at the same time that I'm clearing up the haze. And if you do that, that means you're going to have to keep coming back, which is okay to do a few layers. But the deep scratches, that's when Tourist Fix told me to use 200 grit and then 2000 grit. To get something to adhere to, I don't think that was bad advice. I think it should have started higher. And maybe I didn't, I needed to go down to 2000, but 200 was too much because I can still see the damage from his few million view probably by now uh, video advice. Uh, his advice wasn't perfect, but you know, he got me to work on my headlights and instead of uh, paying someone to do it, now that as a mechanic, occasionally I get to do it for people with the, uh, the kits by like 3M and stuff over from Pet Boys and all kinds of different kits. The one we got it. Pet Boys works a lot better than some of the other ones. Can't remember the brand. It just uh, works a lot better than some others, like the Turtle Wax one. I I felt that was really designed to work on one car. Uh, <clears throat> the one at Pet Boys, you could do car after car after car. Uh, so that's a real money maker. All with one kit that that's sold on the shelf for DIY. That looks pretty phenomenal. Normally I'm doing this in an auto zone, but look at this. That's a nice treat, right? It's delicious. For the throne. What is it, a Game of Thrones Oreo? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's still an Oreo. But that, it, I just burst out laughing when I saw that. That was hilarious. Get out there and work on something. Most related video is going to be on the top right. On the bottom right, poke me in the eye. Uh, yep, don't hurt the camera operator. And over here will be a video of Google's choice as to what is the best thing you would like off of my channel based upon how well the AI on you, AI and YouTube knows you.